Mike, Frank Seeger. It's Friday and I need that project by Monday. You wanna explain yourself? Uh-huh. Look, I told you already, if you can't produce, I'll find someone who can. My back is to the wall on this. And I don't think you understand that this needs to get done right now. Look, I'm just saying it seems like you're not giving it 110%. Mike, I know you have other things to do, but we all have to make sacrifices. It's just the way it is. You think the Griffin Project's gonna get done by itself, Mike? It's one weekend, Mike. One weekend out of your life. I'm your senior designer. Everyone is seeking answers to life's difficult questions. Those making their living in corporate America are no exception. Case in point, Frank Seiger. In his career, he has learned well how to give the impression that he has all the answers. The truth is, in his business and personal life, the answers never come easy. But on this otherwise normal scenic drive, he is about to discover that sometimes the answers come from unexpected places. Sacrifices, huh? You've got to be kidding me. I'm the one that's been doing all the sacrificing. You remember the... I stayed until midnight on a Sunday... Mike? Midnight on a Sunday... Mike? Who was it? That You're breaking up. I worked... On what? I worked what? Long... I can't hear. Come on. Oh, that's great. That's just great. Can I get a little help here? Mike Whalen. It's me. I guess when I took this shortcut, I didn't think about the bad reception. Luckily, I found a payphone. Anyhow, like I was saying, I've got to have that project by Monday, Mike, with no exceptions. Frank, there is no way that this project is getting done by Monday. You're killing me, Mike. Now, you listen to me. No, you listen to me, Frank. I don't need this abuse. I, I don't need this pressure. I quit. Good luck getting it done by Monday. Mike? Mike? Need answers, call 555 Answers. All right. Let's just see what pearls of wisdom you have that can bail me out of this mess. Thank you for calling the answer phone. For forgiveness of sin, press 1. For encouragement, press 2. If you are under unbearable pressure from your boss and your employee just quit under the enormous pressure that you've been Ow. mercilessly unloading on him, press 3.
employers and supervisors must not threaten or abuse their fellow employees. This is demoralizing and counterproductive. Remember that whether you're an employer, supervisor, or employee, all must be treated as equal individuals of equal value and deserving of equal respect and dignity. You'll find much greater rewards by treating your co-workers with the same dignity and respect that you demand from them. Thank you for calling the answer phone. Goodbye. reception. I was going to leave a message. Mike, I'm glad you called. I'm only calling to let you know that I'll be in on Monday at 10 o'clock to pick up my things. Your things? No, I... I... I need to apologize. You? Apologize? <laughs> I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you, not just on this project, but, but all the projects. I guess that I was just so wrapped up in trying to get that promotion that I was completely unaware of the well, the enormous pressure that I've been mercilessly unloading on you. Mike, I promise things will be better from now on. Better? Frank, things would have to get a lot better for me to consider staying on. You're right. You're absolutely right, and they will. No more, no more giving you projects at the last minute, okay? No more making you stay late to do work that I should be doing. No more treating you like you're just another employee. From now on, we're equal partners on every project. Mike, I can't do this without you. So what do you say? Do you stay on? I actually do have a few creative ideas for this project, but it's going to have to wait till Monday. Whatever you say. Monday it is. Now, well, what the heck, I'm in. Great. Oh, and Mike, enjoy your weekend. Look, I'm just saying it's not exactly the same way my mom used to make it, that's all. So let me get this straight. I spend all evening making a romantic dinner and the only thing that you can possibly think of to say is, it's not the way my mom used to make it. Wow, I'm blown away. Real nice, Frank, thanks for the appreciation. Thanks. I appreciate you. I appreciate this, I really do. But all I was saying is that my mom used to add just a hint of garlic. That's it. I mean, maybe that's all it needs. Oh, excuse me. That's all it needs, huh? That's not what I meant to say. Yeah. Well, you know what, Frank? Not everything's always about you. I mean, would it kill you just to show me a little bit of appreciation? I know it's the farthest thing from your mind right now. Okay. Okay. I'll never mention my mom's cooking again, all right? That's what you think this is about? You know, you absolutely amaze me sometimes, Frank. Maybe for once you can actually listen to what I'm saying. Do you know that Mike Whalen quit his job today? What does that have to do with anything? Funny thing, there was this phone booth, and it was like it. Frank. Frank? Frank? I'm sorry, the number you have dialed cannot be connected from this phone. 
If you feel that you've made an error, then please hang up and try again. I'm sorry. The number you have dialed cannot be connected. Uh, I'll be right back. Thank you for calling the answer phone. For forgiveness of sin, press 1. For encouragement, press 2. If you just insulted your wife, as well as her cooking, and just can't seem to find the words to smooth things over, press 3. Love is patient and kind, not jealous, rude, or boastful. It endures all hardships. Love never seeks its own way. It keeps no record of wrongs and is always full of hope. Thank you for calling the answer phone. Goodbye. Now you want to take your layer brush. You see how it moves the blue paint all back and forth, back and forth. That's good. Yeah. Now, dry brush a little. Very nice. See how that starts to look like the sky, nice blue sky. You know, Marilyn, love is supposed to be patient and kind, and I've been neither. I'm so sorry. Sorry, Frank. This number has been disconnected. If you have dialed in correctly, please hang up and leave me alone. <laughs> Great job, Mike. I think Mr. Griffin will be extremely pleased with what you've come up with. Why don't you put it on my desk and I'll uh, check it out when I get back. Speaking of getting back, where the heck are you? Well, it's such a beautiful day, I thought I'd eat my lunch at the park. You know, get out of that stuffy office for a change. Yeah, tell me about it. I get tired of being cooped up all day myself. You know what? Why don't I take you to lunch tomorrow at the diner down the street? It's on me. Well, who am I to turn down a free lunch? Besides, this would be a good chance for me to get a little friendly advice. Great. Let's plan on it. Now, as far as the project goes, I like what you have so far. But I was thinking that if we could start with the templates on Monday for uh, Nelson, uh, get a jump start on the section. Excuse me. Uh, hey, buddy. I haven't had anything to eat in like two days. You, you think you can help me out? Sorry, I don't have anything to give you. <laughs> Who's that? Just some old bum. 
Any, anything you could spare would be greatly appreciated. Anything at all. I really don't have a single thing to give you. Sorry. Go on. Well, yeah, but you, you got all this stuff. I mean... Do you mind? I'm conducting business on the phone and you're making it a little hard to hear. I just, I, I just wanted part of your sandwich and I'll, I'll be on my way. You, you'll never see me again. If you don't leave me alone, I'm going to call the cops. Got it? Hey, enjoy the rest of your dried out, crusty sandwich. Hope uh -huh. you choke on it. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Anyhow, is there uh, anything else you can think of that we might need in order to wrap this project up? Well, we could have Nelson work with these fingers. With okay. Us, and that would save us some time and free us up to do some design work. Oh, and we could have Kathleen over at Carter and Pickford work on those illustrations. Then we could rework the Douglas templates, and that would save a lot of time, too. Oh, in addition to that, we could take... If a homeless person has just asked you for something to eat, press 3. Give to those who ask of you. And don't expect or demand anything in return. You have been given much and are blessed. So in return, share your blessings with those in need. So, let me get this straight. Yesterday you wouldn't even think about sharing your lunch with this homeless guy. And now today you're taking him out to lunch at your favorite cafe. What gives? What gives? I do. It's about time I gave to those who ask of me. What? It's a long story. Besides, didn't you say you wanted some friendly advice on something? Yeah. Huh. Seems like you got all the answers lately. See, it's about Nancy. We've been going together now for five years, and I think that she's the one. And part of me wants to pop the question, right? Another part of me thinks maybe I should wait till I make more money. I love her and everything, but marriage is a big step. You know, I, I always respected your opinion, so Frank, What's your advice? Well, I think that you should... Um... Well, why don't you try... I mean, they say that... Um... Um... I'll be right back. Frank! Frank! Frank, where are you going? just can't seem to find the words. Press 3. This should work fine. The only thing that I see is I can probably rework this section from the Douglas Project mm -hmm. and try and merge it with the Griffin Project. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? What do I think? I think that new receptionist is checking you out. That's what I think. <laughs> you know what they say, everything that happens in the office stays in the office. <laughs> yeah, well, if we don't get this done today, there won't even be an office. Right. So why don't you rework section five, mm -hmm. and I'll see what I can do about the additions. You got it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mike. So she ended up giving me only two coupons, both of which had expired last month. I mean, who doesn't check the expiration date on their coupons? You know what I think? I think she wastes her entire social security check at the Indian Casino. That's what I think. But you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> Granola! Oh my goodness. I don't know who eats this stuff. This tastes like leaves and twigs. Hey, can we speed this up a little bit? I'm running late for a meeting. Well, mister, I don't have time to be friendly. I wouldn't want to make you late for your big meeting now, would I? No, it's just I've been here for 15 minutes. Well, Mr. Chatterbox, will it be cash, check, credit, or debt? Paper or plastic? Um...
I know how you must feel, but... But unfortunately, you have to do this. You don't have a choice. But it's my award. My promotion! Why am I being singled out to suffer? Huh? Maybe Mike Whalen. He's a good man. But Stan, he's not even management material. Now, Frank, you're getting too worked up over this. Besides, they're probably just saving you for something better, that's all. Now, you're going to do fine. It's not about doing fine, because I've been doing fine for the 10 years I've been there, and look where that's gotten me. Nowhere. I have a speech that I can't finish because I have nothing nice to say about the man I'm giving it to. I have to sit there with a smile on my face and give away an award that should have been mine. Not to mention the fact that I have to just sit back and watch as I'm passed over for promotion again. And to top it all off, I don't even know what color tie to wear. If I ever needed some solid advice, now would be the time. Well, I actually... I'll be right back. Now where are you going? Frank! Frank! Stan Franklin? Moron hasn't had an original idea since he's been there. What can I say about Stan Franklin that hasn't already been said before? Useless, worthless, incompetent. Oh no, out of gas. You gotta be kidding me. Thank you for calling the answer phone. It's you. For forgiveness of sin, press 1. For encouragement, press 2. For all other inquiries, press 0. 0? No, what happened to 3? Hello? Remember, answers to all of life's questions are always within your reach. So don't forget to let your fingers do the walking. But you... Let my fingers do the walking? Thank you for calling the answer No, wait, phone. I need answers. Goodbye. Hello? Hello? Within my reach, let your fingers do the walking. Let your fingers do the walking? The phone book?
And you who are bosses, be kind to your servants. Do not talk loud, hard words to them. Remember that both their Lord... Employers and supervisors must not threaten or abuse their fellow employees. That's exactly the same answer I got from... Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous. Love is not proud and does not boast. Love is supposed to be patient and kind, and I've been neither. I told Marilyn the same exact thing. Give to the one who asks of you. Don't turn away from the one who wants to borrow something from you. What gives? I do. It's about time I gave to those who ask us. I can't believe it. All the answers that I ever needed were right here, all the time. All I had to do was read it. I'm telling you that this edition is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So whatever you do, don't be late. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've waited my entire life for something like this. Now listen, Gary, as your agent, I'm telling you, I pull a lot of strings, but I was able to get you in today at 4 o'clock. Don't let me down, Gary. No, 4 o'clock? No problem. Where do I go? It's at 110... Hello? Hello, Judy. Judy, I'm losing you. Avenue, sweet. What? What's the address? Ask Hello? Judy! <sighs> it is human nature to seek answers to life's questions. Maybe somewhere, somehow, a desperate man might even get help from a prophetic telephone. But who are the rest of us going to call for answers? In the Bible, God says, when you are in trouble, call out to me. I will answer and be there to protect and honor you. The power of God's Word is no secret. In fact, every year the Bible outsells every other book. Last year, 500 million Bibles were published in 2,261 languages. So go ahead, pick up a Bible and make the call. You'll find all the answers you're looking for in the Word of God. Some 
Questions.